Hi guys, on today's Facebook Live episode, you are gonna be charmed, because Lisa's charming, I'm charming, and we show you how to make wine charms. She's good. So we're gonna show you how to make the loop that holds the charm on the stem of the glass, and then we talk about tons of different designs for the actual wine charms, you know, different ideas, you can make it into necklaces later, tie it on with ribbon, do the loop that we're gonna show you, or do like a gift tag on just a wine bottle. Super cute. Love it. So we have lots of information for you. And just remember, this was a Facebook Live episode, but we've edited it here for you. And let's get learning. Yeah. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Lisa and Mel here for Be Education Live. And Mel, fill these people in. What are we doing today? We are going to do wine charms, which I get really excited about every time it's around holiday time because it's just a time of entertaining and having family and friends over and wine charms are so fun to make and kind of make people feel special and make sure you don't spread germs. Oh, that's important. <laughs> I mean, it makes such a great gift, like Hostess gift. You're showing up for a party. It's, it's awesome. And, and you guys have all the tools to make it. I know you've got a million design stamps, so make some charms. I should also add, in addition to wine charms, I wanted to show you guys um, tags, like showing kind of like a wine bottle tag, where mm -hmm. if you don't want to do the charms and you're bringing a bottle yes. of wine, I love this idea where we have these amazing pewter plaques, and we have the, an aluminum in every um, metal, actually, the plaques. But I love this particular one because it's a little bit thicker. And here I just did Happy Holiday, Lisa. And you could write anything. You could say, For Bless me? this home. And then, boom, they have an ornament or something they could just like hang anywhere in their house, right? Yeah. It's perfect. It's yeah, it's perfect. cool. It's better than a little gift tag. It's right? better than a gift tag. And it shows it's like, yes, you could stamp out 10 of them, even that just said Happy Holidays 2017. Mm -hmm. And you could get a $3 bottle of wine and you had the tag on it. And boom, it looks like a $50 gift. Or you could buy Bailiana because it's delicious. Yes, you could. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, the last couple of weeks, as you may have noticed, is we've started a new segment called What's New? It's a really catchy title. Um, we launched so many new products that so we're just taking a small opportunity each week on the live show to show you what's new this week. We don't have a lot new this week, but we do have some fun stuff. So mm -hmm. we're just going to get started. We're going to move the camera down, and Mel's going to show you what's new. What's new? We got such good feedback with dream, believe, breathe, and love that we added in a few more words because we thought it was neat to be able to add this to your stamping that you already have. It's great for stainless steel, so you can stamp it on utensils, which is what the Advantage series is all about, which I think is kind of cool. And it's in this really neat kind of cursive handwriting. So I think that's kind of a cute um, that we added in more words. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of hard to see on the stamps because they're backwards, but if you go to the site and you click on metal stamps and then click on words, and then click on each one, we have it stamped out so you can see what it, it actually looks like. What I do want to show you guys though also, and Lisa had this stamped, here we go, this is pretty darn cute. Now this one's not for stainless steel, but we had made this hand stamped stamp. Look at how cute this is, it just so, it looks so, oh, you can see a little marker on my hand there, I'll cover it with marker. But for all the necklaces, you know, or bracelets that you make, it's kind of neat to just stamp that onto a three eighths or a one half tag or circle for people to know at like fairs or gifts that it's actually handmade. And I thought that was so hand stamped is even more perfect. Mm -hmm. So that you'll find in the word section in design stamps too. And that's our new product. Are you guys ready to see some wine charms? Yeah. Okay, get ready guys. I'm scooting in here so that you can see. I have a variety of charms. And some of these, let's see here, I'm first gonna start out with, I think, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the actual wire wrap, but I just wanted to show you guys the different ways that you can use, that you can actually pick out charms. This, and here I have this one on here, you could do little words. I think it's kind of great to do, like just kind of descriptions. I mean, you could do names. Here we thought you could do like the Kellys, like have eight of these that all have the same last name of maybe the person you're gonna give this to, but just do different colors and then your guests would know, or their guests would know, they have the blue one or the pink one or the yellow one. I thought this was kind of cute that I did bald, lovely, handsome, funny, you could do sassy, just because if you do them like this, you're never gonna forget your where your wine is if you know you're the funny one, right? And you have to have the right audience, I What suppose. if you're bald, funny, and handsome? You gotta pick the... Wait, you wanna bring this back in and tell them about yes. that pewter charm? And tell them about... This, did you talk to them about what oh, that yes. is? So you a guys, little built-in rim? This is um, USA-made pewter 
uh, blank, if you, go, if you look on her pewter blanks, it's under circles, and this little center part right here, it has a little divot already in it where you can just take some hypo cement and just place just a little dot and our crystals fit perfectly in there. So, yeah, well, it's not, I don't think it's actually a divot, it's a raised... Yeah, maybe you're right. It's a raised circle, so it, it's even a little... Let me show you guys here so you yeah, can kind of see. Yeah, so cool. It is like a bezel. Yeah, like a bezel. Yeah. But you don't bend it over. It just hides the edge so that it won't click off. But um, we had these special made to fit the crystals that we um, sell. I think what, what I love about this the best, you guys, is when you put your glue in there, the glue will not move. Like your glue, yeah, when so I went to put it in out. and you and I put it in there, the glue just stays because it's not going to go over the rim. So that's kind of like a cool, cool feature with it. So yeah, yeah. so those are I the... Lo I love those mics. We have them oh, in a heart, too. which Mel's going to show in a minute. But it's, they're kind of like, I mean, they sell great. I think they're just so fantastic because they're inexpensive. Oh, look how cute It's that true. Is. They're inexpensive. They're made in America. We have a great turnaround time with them. And I just think they're so special because they look so finished. So these, the stitching is already on these hearts. Again, the same little bezel that's in there. And here I thought this was cute for wine charms. Like it doesn't have to be a name. Like you'll remember if you have the unicorn or the swallow or the owl or the fox. Aren't these just kind of a cute way of doing it? Yeah. So like you said, no sharing germs. No sharing germs. And you guys, what I did with these is I thought this was so cute. This is also the same pewter made in the USA. We have this under, it's a luggage tag, or you could have it as a necklace or keychain. But I put a little, um, bless the McCabe's thinking, these come right out. So I just, I just added this in here. But then folks could actually use that as maybe like a, um, just they'd have it in their kitchen, like above their door, you know, that you'd have this on your own and then be able to add on your wine charm. The wine charms would be something separate, but it would be just a cute thing. I just love it as a way to always house them as well. It is kind of cute, right? So here's your so little they're wine charm. In the same place. And... and then, yeah, at the end of the night, you put them back in your little bless the McCabe's yeah, and just hang it. And my favorite thing is you just uh, put a ribbon on it and tie it right around the bottle of wine that you give them. Love it. Love Pretty it. Pretty cute, right? It's so good. I love that. I also want to show you guys. So I even made, because I thought we have so many different shapes in the pewter of these kind of elaborate uh, tags. I did one, if you wanted to put it on a decanter, where here's, this one could be vodka, the other one could be gin, this one could be rum, one could be wine, and then maybe you wouldn't have them all year round, but you put them in just different decanters for that night, for like Thanksgiving, or so that people would know what is what, and it looks kind of nice. You could, in fact, I was saying to Laura earlier, put in some $2 vodka of the gods in here from Trader Joe's, put on this vodka, and then say to someone, this Grey Goose is amazing, because it looks so special, right? <laughs> Are you guys feeling me? Here. Or you could say Martinelli's for those people. That Martinelli's, yes, or just cider, right? I think that would be really cute. These guys, if you didn't want to do the pewter, I think they look so special, and it's aluminum. Mm. It's just our aluminum, and you could put on, I did a little cactus, a diamond, the lotus, and the coffee. These were, I mean, it's just so easy to stamp. And then I'm going to show you guys how I do the little charm now. Or I guess I it, love, this huge? is so perfect because it doesn't have to be a theme. Like these are all kind of random, diamond yeah. and lotus. And, and I, I personally, and I know a lot of you, have a lot of design stamps. And yeah. you're just sort of like, when am I going to ever use this guitar again? But this is a really fun kind of quirky way to, to use it. I love it. That's right. I mean, just use your fox and your owl. It is kind of a cute way, right? To, yeah. For people to just it, be like, I know I have the cactus, right? No yeah. one's taking my drink when I go to the bathroom. Um, I am going to show you guys how to make the little wire wrap charms now. Okay, you're going to grab your wire, which by the way, you're going to want to use 22 gauge or 20 gauge. I like 22, 20 or 20 is fine as well. You can use craft wire. You can use um, pretty much any wire you want as long as you're happy with the color. Um, here I have... Sterling, because I just thought, well, if you only use two and a half inches for each charm, so I'll use sterling. So I go ahead and take my ruler and I measure out two and a half inches on the ruler and just go ahead and cut it. I love to, I always have sterling scrap. That's a good like idea. Like a random three inch piece or something, and this is a great. That is a really good idea. Here, I'll just cut two. See, what you could do is you could just cut, if you were like, I'm going to make five wine charms, go ahead and cut your two and a half pieces right here. 
If you want to do them where they're a little bit larger, and just to let you guys know, these were this was actually three inches, and maybe you decide you want them larger or you want to put beads on them, maybe a little larger could be better. But I loved the two and a half inches for me. Yeah, and that's just personal preference. It's not like one's better than the other. No. Right? I think the main thing is make sure all of them are the same to the recipient yeah. that you're going to be giving them I to. Guess going too big might not, they might not stay put. That's true. Yeah. Apart. Yeah, maybe you're right. So here I have the wrap and tap pliers. You can use the wrap and tap. I use the center one here of this wrap and tap. You could use a marker. You could, if you're doing larger, you could use a little medicine, um, medicine bottle. But and those are the large wrap and taps. Right? Large wrap and yeah, tap. Awesome. And I also think if you're using craft wire that it's kind of bent and you and with sterling here, I kind of want to harden it. I can go ahead and and straighten out my wire a little bit. These, this is actually pretty darn straight, but I don't know about you guys. My wire at home sometimes it really gets in a um, kind of in a wrinkly funk wrinkly funk i don't wrinkly know funk. That's sad. <laughs> but not with the not with the wire straightener that, that <laughs> the wrinkly funky wire so here i am i take the middle of the wrap and tap here and then just with your fingers go ahead and form it around and have these guys overlap i always forget how hard this is to do it while you're trying to keep it in the frame of the camera huh yeah but there you go overlapping right here and then if you want to harden the wire, because this is sterling, so you just might want to. Let me show you guys here. Go ahead and take a, pa a plastic mallet and go ahead and hit it. So that's like setting the shape. It's setting the shape and it allow it to have a little bounce back. So when you are taking the charms on and off, like between parties or whatnot, it'll still be able to keep its shape. But you probably will not have to do that with craft wire. But see, now it has like a little spring to it. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my flat nose pliers and just make a little turn here. Boom, just like that. And then with my round nose, take the other end and make a little circle right there. A little loop. Little loop. And then pop on your charm. And you don't kink it to center it. You just let it sit on the side like that. I oh, do. Nice. I do. Yeah, I just do it just yeah, like that, too. you know. And then, Spray. boom, you're set. You got your little charm. Yeah. And I'll show you guys, just, to, just so you see it one more time here. You go ahead, form it around here like this. Form it around. And you could use the larger one, like I said, or the smaller one for that matter. You'd hammer it if you need to hammer it. Flat nose, make the little kink. You could actually do this even to make little uh, hoop ear wires in any size. It's the same thing. It really yeah. is. It's yeah. exactly the same thing. And then go ahead and make put your little round little loop. Boom, you're set. Put your little charm in and you're done. And that's so, how you make your yeah. wine charm. And on this guy, it got a little distorted, but you just fix it with your fingers, right? Oh, yes, it did a little bit. You're right. Yeah, just yeah, fix it with I your mean, finger. I mean, it's not a big deal. I just don't want people to go like, ah, how do I fix it? Like, oh, yeah, easy, fix it with easy. your finger. Yep. You're set. Tracy reminded us if you are going to make a hoop earring, you might want to deeper the end a little bit. Isn't that the sure. truth? And yes. And I would use 20 gauge, not 22. That's correct. Yes. Here I use 20 right here. I just want to show you guys too. I mean, you just get a little box. You put in like four of these. Like that's just already such a cute little gift. So cute. So there you go. Cute. You're done. Or like I said, you can add them to, if you guys are coming late, the um, little tag. And then boom, you have so them right on cute. here. And I know uh, if you're jumping in for the replay, a lot of people are going to be wondering about the wire again. So Mel used sterling. Uh, you can use silver fill because it doesn't oxidize too bad and it's pretty inexpensive and pretty hard. Yes. And you can also just grab craft wire that you may have at home or you get from the hardware store or you get from whatever, you know. Yes. Just as long as it's not too thin and too mushy because then the charm will just fall right off. Mm -hmm. And that's... Go in the dishwasher? Uh, I don't I, know. I'm not sure, but you know, you know, the, you, well here, okay, for the aluminum, I'd say I wouldn't put it in because then maybe the, um, yeah, the, just, the Sharpie that you put in there could come out. Just take them off before you put But you guys, it's in. pretty easy just to take them right off too, you I mean, know. If someone spilled red wine all over their charm, then just let them keep it. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good point. Yes. Yes. So before we move back up, I want to show you guys. Um, I'm going to pull it up on the screen right now. This is from one of our blog posts. Um, just another idea. Let's go with this one. So this is um, a charm that I did for a friend's bridal shower. And you can see we just tied it on with ribbon. 
and I made it in such a way that they would maybe put this on their keychain later or put it on a chain. It's ready to go for a necklace. So I'll show you what they all look like here. I love that, that they have a necklace. Like it's a really cool keepsake. Yeah, it was great. So here they all are here, tied on, all nice and pretty. And this was sort of my production of making them. So I laid them all out and stamped them all at once um, with the tape like that. I just thought that was worth showing you guys. And they looked so pretty and everybody, like I see my friends all the time, they have them like on a chain or on their, their key ring. And it's, it's just a, another great idea for a party or to make it, you know, so it's not always a wine charm. It's like a necklace or something. I love that. And you just did it with ribbon too. And that was great. Yeah, just tied it on there. Yeah, that's cute. It stayed really, really well. Yeah. We add crystals in a couple of videos, but we'll just walk you through it here. So these are our flat back crystals and you just take a little bit of glue. We use the hypo cement glue and just put a teeny little dab um, right in the middle of that rim there. Uh, pick up the crystals with, sometimes I, do, I just use my chain nose to grab them yeah. or tweezers or with your finger, mm -hmm. pop it in, press it down a little bit and then let it set. It's, it's really just that easy. And the reason we built that rim on there is because when you glue crystals onto flat metal, when they come off, it's usually because something like got under the edge and like picked it off, you know, but this hides the edge so it stays really, really well. But they're just glued in there and they're not bezel set. Um, we didn't use our crystal punch setter for this, but you definitely could. Mm -hmm. um, that is a stamp that's just got a big round circle that fits exactly this crystal and you stamp it and it, it actually impresses into the metal, leaving a divot perfect space for you to pop the crystal in there. So no rim, but you could do it like on this one or we, if you look at them um, back in our videos, we did it on the Christmas tree a couple of weeks ago. Um, and it's really, really easy and it looks great. It's a great way to add a birthstone color, mm -hmm. but here the colors are just, just for fun, huh? Just, oh, just for fun. And because maybe someone doesn't remember between, was I lovely or was I handsome? At least they'd remember well, they, right, they right, were the yeah. blue guy, right? Yeah. yeah, the color just, just for fun. <laughs> kind of jumps. Represent. I will say also guys that, um, another reason I like the hypo cement, which any glue will work is because it has a great little uh, applicator where it's just this tiny little um, pin that the glue comes down. So I think if you're trying to mix like two part epoxy or something, or, or, if, or if you do like an E6000, you might want to use a um, toothpick, like a toothpick would work where you can then just, cause you only need a little bit of glue. I notice sometimes people will use a little too much cause you're worried the crystal is going to come out and then the glue ends up kind of squishing out. Or um, have you ever seen it where it kind of gets kind of stringy like a cobweb? Yes. I so just that. a little bit of glue. You can even practice with the crystal beforehand, like use the divot and practice with the crystal. The thing I like with the pewter is, like I said, the, the glue does not come out. Yeah, because you have the bezel. Rain. Yeah, so yeah. that's kind of nice. Mm -hmm. I want to see some of the funny things that people are saying. Reindeer names. Oh, is such a cute this. one from Carolyn. I love the reindeer okay. names. Or Janice says all the characters from Seinfeld. That is so cute too. And I love so nicknames good. too. So good. So there's some great ideas for you just in the comments. We're all here to share and learn from each other. That's great. I love it. Okay, I think that's it for this week. Everybody, thanks so much for joining us. And we'll see you next week with our special guest. See you next week. Bye.